All right, guys, it's going to be my WrestleMania recap. WrestleMania 40 went down Saturday and Sunday over the past two days. Guys, it was epic. Night one on Saturday, the crowd was a little more quiet. You know, I found out because it was cold. It was freezing out there in Philly on the East Coast. I used to live in the East Coast in New York. Now I'm on the, on, on the South. I live in the South now. But uh, you forget how hot it is over here. It's freezing over there on the East Coast, so they were freezing their butts off. The main thing about day one, it was okay. The main thing was um, uh, Sami Zayn beat Gunther for the IC title. It was an amazing match. It was kind of like a Rocky Balboa story. Even the commentary was saying it. Good for Sam. I'm excited what they do with him as an Intercontinental Champion. I think he's going to be a great champion. Um, first, let me get off by saying that I was a huge wrestling fan my whole life. I kind of stopped watching. I would be in and out of it. When CM Punk came back, that kind of sparked my interest and, uh, you know, this new era. You know, wrestling goes through a lot of golden ages. You had the 80s, you know, with Hulk Hogan. Then you had the new generation with Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. And then you had the Attitude Era with the Rock and Stone Colds. And then it kind of, you know, after the Monday Night Wars, kind of got flat. There were some great times in the 2000s. But, you know, after that, the what was it? The uh, aggression, the aggression era. Uh, with John Cena and stuff and then it went PG and it was really brutal and it was kind of unwatchable There was some cool stuff that happened But now Vince McMahon is out a lot of controversy you guys can look up what's going on with Vince McMahon And Triple H is running the show and the product is so much better. I mean, it's night and day better It's going kind of back to the attitude era. You, you see more cursing. You see more adult storylines. It's not as corny um, So that's where we're at right now um, so the end of the day when the main event with The Rock teaming with his uh, cousin Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins was epic. Great storytelling. You know, if The Rock and Roman win, it would be bloodline rules. Great back and forth match. Epic. Great tag team match. As good as you can make a tag team match. The Rock hits the people elbows, pins Cody. It sets it up. Cody screwed. Um, so we're going into day two. Day one basically set the table for day two. Um, which day two blew me away. You know, the crowd was hot. Um, it just felt special, man. It felt like being a kid again. You know, um, Stephanie McMahon came out and said, you know, this is the first WrestleMania in the Triple H era, and she meant it. Everything was different, you know. So many little details. They were showing the wrestler's family. If, if for some reason, Vince McMahon would kind of hide it. Every once in a while, they would do it or put them in a storyline. But it was just more real. It was like kind of like a, more of a real sport where you would see Sami Zayn kissed his wife. Cody Rhodes came out. Brandy was there. So let's go through day two. Um, I started with the world title, heavyweight title match. Seth Rollins versus uh, Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins was banged up from the night before. Drew beats him clean. He had like freaking uh, 50 Claymore kicks. He beat Seth clean. And CM Punk is doing commentary, which is really great. CM Punk was actually really entertaining on commentary. He's good. He should do that more. I don't know if he's fully healthy. It looked like he's back. Um... So he goes over, he starts to time, and Punk, he does the chop, the DX chop to him, and a cross chop, and Punk sweeps his leg, starts putting the boots to him, and we all forgot Damian Priest comes out and cashes in Money in the Bank, beats Drew McIntyre, becomes the world champion. So I want to see where that's going to go, maybe him and LA Knight, you know, that would be pretty awesome. Um, so I think Punk is back, he took off the brace off his arm, and he might be back, so it's exciting, I can't wait till Monday night, tonight, actually. So then we go to the street fight. It was okay. They made it as entertaining. I like that uh, Bubba Ray, Bully Ray came out. Then we go to AJ Styles and uh, LA Knight. It wasn't the best match. They did their best. Um, but it was big for LA Knight's career to go over on AJ. I think he's going to go on to some title matches now. You know? Whether it's the IC or the US title. It'll be interesting to see what they do with his character. He's over, man. That guy is over. AJ is awesome, too, for doing that and giving LA an opportunity. I love seeing the older wrestlers that are still in great shape and so talented get a chance. They got to get their, their time now. I mean, AJ and LA, man, you got to put them up there. They're as good as Brett and Shawn Michaels. So I'm glad they're getting opportunities. I'm excited to see where that goes. Then we had, if I'm missing anything, the woman, oh, Logan Paul versus Randy Orton and uh, Kevin Owens. It's a pretty good match. Logan Paul, man, he's so good. He freaking really impressed me. He has skills. Um, it was cool how I Show Speed came out. All YouTubers know. I Show Speed and TikTokers know. It was hilarious. That was a freaking stiff RKO, man. His neck must be sore, but it was crazy. I thought it was going to be KSI, but it was Speed. Good on Logan Paul. He did an amazing frog splash off the top rope. 
And uh, he's good, man. He's the real deal. He seems dedicated, and uh, uh, he's a great wrestler already. Only two years in, it's freaking phenomenal. Women's title match was great. Uh, Io Sky versus Bailey, great match. Probably one of the best matches of the night. Um, Bailey got the, the title, what everybody wanted. Good for Bailey, man. She needed it. The role model. It's gonna be cool to see what they do with her. Then we had the world title match. It was the world title match. Um, Cody versus Roman Reigns. They started a little slow, filling each other out. Once it got going, it was great. They did all the spots. It was bloodline rules, so anything goes. Anything goes. So let's let's go through the match. It was a good match, back and forth. Um, who came out first? Oh, Uso came out first. Uh, the Uso brothers came out. They did a spot where they went off the stage, which, which was amazing. Um, and then Solo came out, and it looked like they were going to do the spear and uh, thumb to the throat combo to take out uh, Cody, but he kept kicking out. He kept kicking out. And then all of a sudden, boom. Da -na -na -na. John Cena's music hits. John Cena comes out, which was epic. Uh, you know, he F5 Roman, he F5 Solo through a table. Um, it looks like Cody's going to win. You know, then you know the final boss, The Rock, is coming out. You know, this variation of The Rock is kind of like his final form. It's amazing. He's never been so good. He was great in the ring, too, on night two. The, the match was amazing, man, you know? It was a little stiff, a little slower, but he could still go in the ring um, if you use him in spots. But, uh, so Cena comes out. The Rock comes in. They have the face-to-face -face that they had years ago, the showdown. Rock bottom. Cena's done. Boom, boom, boom. The Rock gets the Mama Cody Rhodes belt, the waist weightlifting belt. He's going to whip Cody. The lights go out. We think it's going to be Stone Cold. No, it's the freaking Undertaker. The Undertaker comes out. He looks great. Choke slams Rock to Rock to Hell. The lights go out. And uh, they're both gone. And it's just down to Cody and Roman. The match continues. No, 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 no. The Shield came out first. Seth Rollins, which was pretty funny. He gets Superman punch. Knocked out. Then the, then, uh, the Taker thing happened. So, because that was huge. I can't believe I forgot that. So, the Taker leaves. It's just a rock and Roman. Roman gets up. He has the chair. He has to make a decision. Is he going to hit Cody and win the belt? Or is he going to get revenge on Seth? Seth is getting up. If you don't remember, Seth broke up the shield. I don't even know how many years ago. Ten years ago, eight years ago, whatever it was. And hit Roman in the back with a chair. And, uh, you know, ended the shields And uh, screwed Roman over. And Roman said he would never forget it. So he took the opportunity to hit Seth and get revenge after all these years, and it cost him. Cody hits three, three crossroads, boom, 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 and finishes the story. It was emotional. It was crazy, um, huge. The best part was the realism in the end. He told Triple H to come out and Bruce Pritchard. Um, you know, it was real, raw emotion. The family came out. It's still real to me, damn it. The family came out. Um, the wrestlers came out. All the good guys came out, and... Uh, it was just one of the most real moments in wrestling you would see. Michael Cole was crying, and it's true. It's just Pat McAfee said it best. Pro wrestling is back. I think I'm fully back into pro wrestling, you know. I think I might be getting involved in more ways than one. Had some things of my own cooking. But I'm truly excited and happy to see where WWE goes in this Triple H era. You know, thank you, Vince, for all the things you did. It sucks that you turned out to be a scumbag, but we won't get into that. But he was kind of lost touch, and we need a new vision and new eyes, and Triple H is there, and he knows what the people want. We don't want no PG, little kid stuff. We want entertainment, adult storylines, real stuff, drama. We want real drama. I mean, it was cinema. This was probably the best WrestleMania we've seen. Man, I cannot wait. Everything reboots tomorrow night on Raw. And uh, I'm excited, man. I'm really excited to see where things go. But WrestleMania overall, you know, this recap, I loved it. It brought me back fully into WWE. I mean, it's the hottest thing in entertainment right now. Everybody was watching. Um, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm going to be posting more content. I'm going to be doing a lot of horror movie reviews and horror-focused stuff. I am a horror film director and some pro wrestling stuff on this channel. Maybe a few gaming things. But thanks for the journey. Thank you for my uh, 350K followers. For some reason, I'm getting followers every day, 100 followers a day, and I'm losing followers. I don't understand TikTok. But thank you for everybody who keeps following. I'll be doing daily content and taking this more serious. Like I said, I'm also a film director, so I get busy with film shoots. And, uh, you know, I, I fall off, but I'm going to try and maintain and uh, produce content on my days off from work uh, and keep it going. Love you guys. Let's keep it rocking. Let's start this journey. 
um, in 2024 together on TikTok and YouTube. Follow me on YouTube, Nemesis Beast, the same name. And uh, go on this journey with me, guys. Thank you for everyone that follows and likes and comments. Let's go, man. Check out WrestleMania if you didn't get Peacock. Later.